Battle of the AI Image Generators In our last comparison video, we compared the AI Talking Avatar Tools, DID versus HeyGen. In this video, we will be comparing Mid-Journey versus Stable Diffusion XL. Sit back as we dive headfirst into the thrilling world of AI image generation where Mid-Journey and Stable Diffusion XL 0.9 are battling it out. Who's got the upper hand? Well, Mid-Journey's been ruling the roost with its secret sauce of proprietary tech, but there's a new challenger in town. The underdog, Stable Diffusion XL 0.9, created by the WizKids at Stability AI, is geared up to shake things up. In this video, we are on a mission, a mission to explore the capabilities and potential of these two tech gladiators. Quality? That's the game changer here. Mid-Journey's been taking the cake with its impressive results. But does Stable Diffusion XL 0.9 have what it takes to win the battle? You know what's really cool? Mid-Journey just blows me away with its ability to produce top-notch results without needing much prompting. It's like a genius that knows exactly what you want without even asking. It's seriously impressive. However, Stable Diffusion XL 0.9 isn't only free, but it's also open source. What's that mean for us? Well, it means it's free for anyone to use, modify, and distribute. This freedom fosters a community of creative, innovative minds working together, pushing the tech forward. On the flip side, Midjourney keeps its cards close to its chest, limiting access to its software, potentially stunting its reach. So let's dissect this open source advantage, dive into its impact on the industry, and figure out just how big a wave stable diffusion XL 0.9 could make in Midjourney's seemingly calm waters. Buckle up, it's going to be an exciting ride. Hey, real quick, it takes me a lot of time and energy to make these videos, so please hit that like button and subscribe so I can continue to make content for you. 97% of you watch my channel but aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button for more AI related content. Okay, back to the video. Let's take a look at the new Stable Diffusion XL 0.9 with its improved image detail, better composition, and amazing, coherent images. They sure are eye-catching and definitely gives Midjourney a run for the money. There's a catch though for the current SD XL 0.9 that we have access to at the moment on clipdrop.co is free, but it outputs a watermark. They do have a pro plan which you can currently pay for to remove the watermark. However, it's soon to be locally accessible on our very own GPUs. Yep, you heard it right. No cloud computing, no network latency, just you, your computer, and some top-notch AI image generation. Now, let's flip the coin and look at Midjourney. It's got its perks, sure, but that monthly fee isn't one of them. You gotta ask yourself, do you want to keep reaching into your pocket month after month, or do you want to hop on the open source train with Stable Diffusion XL 0.9? After all, who doesn't love a freebie, especially one that promises to give Midjourney to run for its money? Let's swivel our gaze to the Midjourney Community Showcase. One look, and bam! You're hooked. Every image, a stunner, grabbing your eyeballs and refusing to let go. Artistic? Check. Hyper-realistic? Absolutely. The best part? That unmistakable Midjourney touch. You know it when you see it. It's like Midjourney has its own secret recipe, adding that special something to each image. It's got that Midjourney magic that just makes you fall in love with the images. Every single image, a testament to why folks around the world can't get enough of Midjourney. There's something addictive about it, isn't there? You just keep coming back for more. Now, let's take a look at SDXL 0.9. You can currently access SDXL 0.9 for free by visiting this link. Wow, it sure does have that mid-journey vibe going. This is straight out the box. No extensions such as ControlNet or any other amazing extension that really spices up stable diffusion images. This is extremely impressive. Looking at these images straight out the box with no extensions really showcases the ability of the new SDXL 0.9 now imagine when it's available locally and we are able to use the power of extensions like control net. Game changer. For now, let's compare the two. I'll take a few images from the mid-journey showcase and use the same exact prompt on SDXL 0.9 to compare them side by side. These are the images I've randomly selected from the mid-journey recent showcase section. Photograph in the style of Eric Johansson. Nature photography in style of National Geographic. Digital photography, cyberpunk, perched on a rooftop, detailed cityscape. I am going to use the exact same prompt inside of SDXL 0.9 to compare the outputs. Let's take a look. I'll start with photograph in the style of Eric Johansson. 
I forgot to mention that SDXL has a style selection tab. You can pick and choose the type or style of image you're going for. For the sake of this video, I'll just keep it at no style. Here are the generated results for a photograph in the style of Eric Johansson. Cool. Now let's generate the second prompt, which is nature photography in style of National Geographic. Here are the results. Now, the final prompt. Digital photography, cyberpunk, perched on a rooftop, detailed cityscape. Here are the results. Wow. I must say, these were very interesting results and me personally I still feel that SDXL has a little bit more to do to beat mid-journey out the box. However, aside from just the quality, there are other factors to consider like SDXL being open source as well as free to use. We also haven't seen this with stable diffusion extensions as well. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think. Leave a comment below on your thoughts. That brings us to the end of today's insightful journey into the world of AI. If you found this video valuable and want to stay up to date with the latest trends and breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, please hit that like button. It lets us know that you appreciate the content. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll become part of a community that's at the forefront of AI discussions. And remember, by clicking the bell icon, you'll get notified whenever we upload new content, ensuring you never miss a beat in this fast-paced field. Finally, we encourage you to share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. We love hearing from you and your insights could spark fascinating discussions among the AI controversy community. Thank you so much for your time and attention. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.